Hello, it's Janet and welcome to my channel. Today's project is a tutorial for the Lawn Fawn Let's Toast Stamp and Die Set. I showed this card as one of our Valentine Hop projects that began yesterday and runs through Friday, February 8th. If you haven't stopped there already, I'll put the link to my video up in the right hand corner. Get in on the fun, inspiration, and giveaways from every participant in the hop. Before I start, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Just click the icon on the bottom right corner of this video at any time. So let's now take a look at this cute stamp and die set and show you how I made an interactive Valentine card that anyone would love to get. So here is the stamp set from Lawn Fawn called Let's Toast and it's got so many cute images as well as lots of sentiments that are adorable like the avocado to my toast, the peanut butter to my jelly, I love you with all my tart. So cute. And then also they have a Let's Toast pull tab add-on die set. And this allows you to pull the toast or the uh, Pop-Tart out of the toaster, which is super cute. Now this mechanism is pretty interesting. I first of all started by cutting a rectangle with a die of my own in my stash. And then this piece that's on the top and secured with tape creates the tab that you're going to pull your mechanism. Now this is the mechanism die itself. And this is what it looks like after you've cut it. You can see there are some pre-scored lines that are in the die and this is where you're going to fold them. So you fold it over and I just like to use my bone folder to get a good crease and then fold it again. And then you do the very same thing on the other side. And this is going to create kind of a platform that you'll see later on works to hold the toast so that it will lift the toast up when the tab is pulled. That'll make a lot more sense when you see it put together in a few minutes. So here is my panel again with the tab opening cut. And I also cut a little piece of paper here to serve kind of as my table or tablecloth. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. Now this paper is adorable and it is from Lawn Fawn as well. It's uh, from the rainbow, really rainbow collection. And you'll notice too, I want to point out this pencil line I drew in the middle of my panel. You can see that. It's going to serve as kind of my guide as to where I'm going to put the slot that is necessary to put in this card. And this also is important to making the whole toast move up because it creates the slot that the mechanism is going to go through. Now we'll come back to that in a second. But here is the toaster and all the other pieces that I cut out and colored. And I use Spectrum Nora markers for these, including the little cheeks. So here is the cute peanut butter and jelly toast. That little stamp there is the jelly part. It's just ingenious. And then I've got my stick of butter and a pad of butter and a little knife here. And I've used the little faces to put on even that butter stick. I mean, they've got it all covered. Now this little die cuts the slot open on the toaster. So I'll secure that again with a little piece of washi tape just to make sure nothing moves. Now also is this little tab that I'm going to cut out in the purple paper. And that indicates to the recipient that there's something to pull. Now there is the toaster with the slot cut and here is that tab. Now it will go at the top of the pull tab and again it indicates, hey, pull up. All right, so here is that piece again with the slot in it and our mechanism. I'm going to put that tabby part together so it can slip through the slot and then refold it once it's through there. And now you can see what I meant maybe a little better about how this forms a platform. This is where the toast is going to be glued. And therefore, when I pull up and down on the tab, it will move along with it. So here is that little toast piece. I'm going to secure that with some glue and making sure that I only put that glue on those folded tabs and nowhere else. And now when I pull up, the toast comes up with it. Now it's time to apply the toaster. You do need to put this on some foam tape and be very careful to leave enough room in the middle for the toast to be free enough to move up and down. So just some narrow pieces of foam tape is what you need on each side of your toaster. So now that's all in position. What we'll do is turn this whole thing over and we'll secure the pull tab. Now if we don't secure it, this pull tab can wiggle to the left and to right and just be kind of messy. But included in the die set is this little piece of paper that I'm wrapping around that pull tab mechanism. 
I put glue on the back of it and it's sticking then to the back of the card panel. And then there's a little tab there that I can put glue on and further secure it. So it just wraps around this pull tab mechanism and that way it can't wiggle to the left and right but it still allows the pull tab to be pulled freely up and down. And now I can go ahead and trim this pull tab off because obviously it's way too long. And once that's trimmed off, I can apply the tab puller. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> and again, it has that upward arrow which indicates to the recipient to pull it. And it fits, of course, just perfectly in the slot that was cut using the die right there at the top. And now you can pull it up and down and that toast moves nicely. So it's time now to erase the pencil line I put in earlier. So obviously we don't want that to show anymore. And it's time to also go ahead and glue this onto the card base itself. Now you just need to be careful not to put any glue where that pull tab mechanism is. But I did want to show that you don't have to put this on foam tape to make it work. And once it is in place, you can press down the edges and you can just double check that your mechanism works properly and mine works very smoothly. Now I wanted to show you my butter stick and the pad of butter and the knife and how I placed it at the bottom of this card. I did get a little bit of excess glue there that I was just wiping off, but I did put a little bit of foam tape on the knife and the pad of butter. And now it's time for the sentiment which says you're the peanut butter to my jelly. So this is the bottom part of the sentiment and there's the your. And I place both of those on foam tape. So cute. I just love this, this little sentiment and how cheery and happy this is. Now the set comes with this tiny little heart and so I stamp that all over my card front just to make sure that if you didn't figure it out already, this is about Valentine's Day. And I use my Wink of Stella and put a little bit of that Wink of Stella on every single little heart. And that gives it a little bit of glimmer and glam. I also put it on the rosy cheeks of the toaster and also on the peanut butter and jelly toast. I really love making interactive cards and this one was just so much fun. And you can see now I'm going to run the mechanism and how nicely the toast pops up. Now it did cover up my sentiment a little bit, but that's okay. And it didn't interfere with my mechanism, so it's all good. Now inside I use the sentiment that's included that says Happy Heart Day. And that finishes up the Let's Toast card by Lawn Fawn. Well, once again, thank you for joining me here today. I really appreciate you visiting and I've put up here uh, the link to subscribe to my channel and also to a couple more videos that I think you might be interested in seeing if you like this one. So I hope to see you back soon, but until then, keep crafting. Bye.